Hello, Nuggets. Okay, we're recording. Uh, been a while. Okay, so a couple of updates on what I'm doing. Let's see. Today is Tuesday, the 11th of November, 2019, just in case it's a year before my next update. Uh, so we just got back from a trip to New York. Laura had to do, uh, went to do a like a, an intensive uh, acting course. She still takes acting courses, even though she's been doing it for 20 years. It's very inspiring. She always wants to learn more. Um, so she went to do a uh, acting course, and I thought, you know what? I think I'll be a tourist in New York. So we went there for a week, stayed in this tiny little hotel called the Arlo in Soho. Uh, it was nice, you know. It wasn't a great hotel. Tiny room, no closet. I mean, just tiny room. The bed was literally wall to wall. Um, but it's it's a nice enough hotel. It's, it's kind of modern and chic and very minimal New York style. You pay through the nose just to be in Manhattan. But it was a good location, a good hotel. Um, so here's here's what I noticed. Firstly, I love going to New York. Right? It's it's a fascinating city. It's just exciting and 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 visceral and intense. And you know, I walked in the seven days. I walked fifty miles, and I I had my app to check it and uh, my my samsung phone app pedometer that's what i'm looking for uh, and i walked 50 miles so i still gained weight and i ate well anyway um but it's a fascinating city love the city um i don't know how people live there <laughs> i don't and it, it it's just everything is hard work though and i'm sure you adjust to it you know i've I actually lived there for about six seven months uh over a decade ago when I was working on a, a show Fiddler on the Roof on Broadway uh, stage manager on it or assistant stage manager on it um, and so we lived there for about seven months and we lived on the upper west side like on 86 or something so I got to know the city I really enjoyed it um, but it was hard work and I thought that it was hard work back then just because I had to go to Midtown so I had to go to 42nd Street every day for work six days a week, and Midtown's just chaos 24-7. It never stops, right? Times Square, basically. Um, so I thought that was kind of coloring my view of the city and that it's not all like that, <laughs> but it is all like that. It's just insanely busy. And being from California, it blows my mind how rude everyone is. I don't know. I just, I, I've got so used to Californians in general being polite. Everyone's just kind of nice to each other and polite, you know? You walk into a shop and they say, how can I help you? And, you know, you, you buy something and they go, thank you. And you say, thank you, have a nice day. And they say, have a nice day. And when I first came from England, I always thought that was so superficial. You know, the cynical English Englishman in me was like, you know, what, you don't really want me to have a nice day. But over time, I've adjusted to it and realized, actually, I really like it. I like it when people are nice to me. I like a civil, polite society. And on the whole, Los Angeles is like that. Everyone's really nice here. You know, and I think it's a beautiful place to live. It's good weather. It's expensive, but not in comparison to New York. It's not. But but overall, it's just it's a pleasant place to be, and it affects people's demeanor. You know, New York's not like that. Everyone's just fucking rude, man. Like down to their boots, rude. Like I I give an example. So I go to this barista, this coffee place that's in the hotel, right? So it's the hotel coffee bar. It's a tiny little place, but um, there's this guy working there. Um, this young black guy, he's maybe 21, 22, 23, somewhere in there, right? He's working there, and he's got a sign right on the front of the desk that says, we'll be back in five minutes. But he's standing behind the desk, and he's measuring out roasted beans into a cup. So I thought, I don't know, maybe this is me being stupid, but I thought it meant that although he was there, he wasn't there. He was doing something that he needed to focus on and he'd be back in five minutes. So I just stood in front of him and I smiled at him and he didn't smile back. And then I looked around and I waited and I thought, I'll just hang out. You know, at some point he'll take that sign away and go, how can I help you? So he kept on looking at me. He kept looking at me and pouring out the beans and measuring them, put away, pouring out the beans. And I waited there for like three, four minutes and then eventually he finished pouring the beans and he put them back and then he just stood there and he went and I said are, are you open? 
And he went, I said, I'm sorry, I saw the sign. I thought maybe you were busy. He went, so I said, oh, okay, uh, actually, I just need a, a cup of ice, please. Because I didn't want to go to the bar and it was whatever. So I should have gone to the bar as it turns out. Um, so he goes and he gets a cup and he gives, the, gives me the cup like this. And I said, thank you. And he goes, and I walk away and my mind's buzzing now. I'm like, okay, have I done something in the past to upset this guy? I'm not rude, so I know I haven't. I'm not a rude person. But then I also thought, <laughs> is he a mute? I know that sounds ridiculous, but I genuinely thought maybe he's deaf or a mute or something and like, you know. But then as I'm walking away, the next guy comes up and he goes, what can I do for you? Guy says coffee, he goes, okay. So he can talk fully, he just, just decided to be rude <laughs> for no purpose whatsoever, other than he thought, yeah, fuck it, I think I'll be rude. And I get that feeling a lot in New York. There's a lot of great people there, very stimulating people. The museums are great, art galleries are amazing. That there's so much going on, but everyone is just so at each other constantly. It's just the level of aggression is extraordinary, you know. And I, I, I find it interesting that some people seem to thrive on it and love it. Because I love the city despite that. And I feel that some people love the city because of that. They're like, oh, New Yorkers are rude. It's char you know, like it's a charming thing. It's not. It's fucking rude. It's horrible. It's, it's disgraceful. Oh, God, I have a lot of New York stories. I think I'm going to be doing some videos about some of the stuff that happened in New York. In New York. There's a Harvey Weinstein story. Uh, there's a story about littering in New York where I address someone and it, that didn't go well. And um, just in general about the city. But anyway, that's why I haven't been doing updates. Um, I'm going to post this video and then I have an update on the pilot. Actually, I got a comment. How about that? Someone actually asked how the pilot was going, which is nice. So I think I'll do an update on the pilot as well. Uh, but we're going to London next week. I've got an update on that. I don't know which one to do next. I'll do the London update next. That's what I'll do. Uh, I'll tell you why we're going, because it's kind of an awesome story. Um, it's fucking cold out there, so I don't know why we're going now, but we are. All right, you little nuggets. Have a good day. Bye.